Hey everybody, today is October 13th. I'm Mr. Sheridan and this is Zoology. Uh, so today we are moving through our, or we're getting started on our unit on reproduction and genetics. We're going to focus on cattle because we've got some really cool resources to be able to do that. So I'm going to share my screen with you and I will get started with what your assignment is for today. So as, uh, as we roll down through here, your agendas are all posted. I do need to start flipping these around to put the most current ones at the top of this uh, list and I and we'll start to do that. But your agenda for the week is posted there. And then if you go down into week nine, we're in week nine already. Uh, our assignment for today is called Cattle Reproduction Anatomy. And what I want you to do is open up this uh, PDF file. If you've never heard of the company called Select Sires, they are a company that uh, that buys bulls and sells semen to uh, cattle producers all over the world, really. Uh, so they put together this. It's also the company that my my wife's, uh, she works for a small co-op that works with Select Sire. So she has access to a lot of their teaching tools. And this is a really good one that does a good job of walking through some of the anatomy of cattle reproduction system, reproductive systems. So what I'd like you to do today is I want you to read through the first two pages of this document. Okay. You'll notice that these diagrams that they have are really, really good and will do a good job of uh, uh, showing you exactly what you're looking for when we're talking about cattle reproduction and their reproductive system. I do want you to pay special close attention to uh, everything that's highlighted in red. This up here, which happens to be in red too, is just a quote from farther down in the document. But these, they did a pretty good job of highlighting these as basically vocabulary. I almost was gonna make you go through and define all of these, uh, these different parts that are pointed out in these sheets. But what I do want, you will need to know where these, all of uh, these parts of the reproductive system, what their name is and what they do. So you're going to need to, so as we, as we go through this unit, you'll need to understand those things. So I want you to read through these first two pages paying particular attention to the things that are highlighted in red. And then what I would like you to do, you don't have to do anything with that specifically, but I do want you to read through it. And then when you go back here, I want you to uh, fill out this KWL chart. So what I want you to, and I will delete this stuff out of here. Um, because, oh, and somebody's actually, Jeremiah, that might be you that is in there working on this stuff. But what, I, what I want you to do is I, you need to make a copy of this first one. Leave this first slide blank. Leave me a blank slide at the beginning for the first thing. And what you need to do is go in and copy the first one and create yours as the second one. So, uh, so you can go ahead and do that. I think somebody's already in there working on that particular slide. So that's what I'm looking for today. If you'll please go through and read those first two pages and uh, get a, a feel for what cattle anatomy is like as far as their reproductive system. And then on Thursday, we will have a guest speaker who's gonna begin talking to us more about the estrus cycle and the hormones that are involved with cattle and their reproductive system and how we can get them bred as efficiently as possible. So uh, if you have any questions, as always, please feel free to shoot me an email uh, and we will plan to talk to you again on Thursday. Have a great day.